Welcome. 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 It's not going to last very long. I was sitting backstage after sound check, and there was this hour and a half or so, maybe until, until the concert. And I did a few things, brushed my teeth, blinked my eyes, and the hour and a half had passed. So very soon this will all be over and uh, we'll be on our, our way to the next thing and then um, and then we'll die <laughs> and, uh, and life will be over um, very fast so um, I'm trying to remind myself of this um, because I forget often Sometimes I forget to feel, smell, even just understand that it's it's okay to just be myself. I, I might not even know what that is. I, I don't even know if you know what that is for you. Um, but what I have noticed is that there's a, a lot of friends who uh, who have shared that they have a, a hard time giving themselves permission to be themselves and noticing that they uh, spend years being a version of themselves that they think is the right version to please their mother or their father or their lover or their boss or whatever. And this is a song about uh, just uh, stopping for a minute and just kind of going, maybe it doesn't fucking matter, you know? Because uh, when, you're, when you're lying on your deathbed all by yourself, you, there might be somebody around you, but you're probably the one that's dying if you're on your deathbed. And, and they might be, you know, you might kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to look back and, you know, thinking, oh, yeah, yeah. I did this in my life and I did that in my life and it's like, okay, great, you did, you know, if you achieve things and fine, whatever it is that you're into. But for me, I realized that before I die, the main thing I wanted to do was just, can I just fucking live for a little bit of time on the planet and actually be myself instead of being the pretended version of myself that I've done all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
You can wait for ages And watch your compost turn to coal But time is contagious Everybody's getting old
You know, if you, if you walk by somebody on the street and they're singing, if you, very often people go, you know, the fuck is wrong with her or him, you know. <laughs> so it is, it is uh, unless you're on a stage or something like that, it's, it's singing is generally looked, looked down upon and we're shy to do it in, in random times because it's it maybe ex- too, too much expressing. Anyway, uh, there are a few voices in this song at the end. There are only two of us on stage, so if you want to help us, then uh, you can uh, sing with us in this theater before you die. So this third over here could uh, sing this line. So kind of these, this, this role, this thing. So yours is. Volcanoes melt you down. Yeah. <laughs> 
By the way, this is uh, Francisco from Brazil. Oh, that wasn't the sign feed at all. <laughs> uh, we don't make a set list, so uh, we never really know what's happening.
Love, 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 love. Yes. I love all the different understanding of love, and I, and, and, uh, I, um, I find it funny and interesting that I, I changed my own ideas of it uh, over the years. Um, there are... Great advantages of of the deeply dark, powerful, passionate, romantic love of and this is a this is a song that's written from from that place where uh, I'm so blind that uh, what I call love was. Uh, you listen to me and listen to you don't understand what I'm feeling and I you know and uh, it it starts to sound a little bit like a a child with a, a toy and their brother or sister takes the toy away and you know this uh, you see the children trying to get their toy back off their their, their brother or sister and it's this real basic like that's mine I I I you know you feel like you, you need it, and you can't live without it. And in that moment, and and, uh, and this is kind of a song that's uh, that's that's all about that. Um, only uh, in the shoes of an adult. And uh, if you bought tickets for this concert, then you probably relate <coughs> to this kind of uh, de depressive, uh, corrupt, broken. <laughs> Well, I held you like a lover, happy hands, elbow in the appropriate place. And we ignored our other happy plans for that delicate look upon your face. Bodies moved and hardened, hurting parts of your garden with an old room for a part in a place where no one knows what we have done. Happy glands and my 
now the shoe of our disgrace. Our bodies, minds pressed and guarded, while our flesh disregarded for the lack of space for the light hearted in this boom that beats our drum. But I know I've made you cry I know sometimes you want to die But do you really feel alive without me? If so, be free If not, leave him for me Before one of us has Accidental babies We are
getting some shit out of your system, you know, and uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a real gift to be able to do that. Um, so <clears throat> I highly recommend buying an instrument or a pen, paper, or whatever it is, um, for any of those times where we feel like a piece of shit, and um, uh, just get it out and, and let it out. And, and then uh, every once in a while, um, a, a happy-ish song, I, I can't say I really write happy songs, but a happy-ish song comes to, <laughs> comes to the top. And so this one here was at the beginning of that relationship. So that, that, was, that, was, that was the end. Very, very not nice. And uh, this, was, this was the beginning where everything was like, wow.
Okay, I am your slave. <laughs> if anybody would like a particular song, you can I heard this came on. I'm sorry, I, I, I know the first one, I heard Eskimo somewhere here. What's it, sorry, what? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I remember uh, when this song came out, and by came out, I don't mean it was released, but I mean when it came out, you know. Uh, I had uh, I had spent days. I was I was in a band at the time, and uh, we were signed to a record company, and it was uh, in Ireland. And the 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 the, uh, the, the vision of uh, record companies at, at that time in Ireland was it just it was crystal clear. There was uh, you just you needed a song to get on the radio, otherwise they wouldn't be interested in you. And um, um, I had mostly slow songs and acoustic songs that weren't really suitable for the radio. Um, but somehow, miraculously, we had gotten a, a deal, a record deal with this uh, record company. And, um, but then I was, was given the task of writing a fast song, you know? So I was, uh, spent days kind of like, whatever, like just, you know. I don't know what to fucking write, what to fucking write, what to, you know. And uh, I remember after about three days of trying to write uh, a fast song, I just got so frustrated and annoyed that I was even, that I was even doing that. Um, and I got the guitar, and it wasn't my guitar, I had borrowed a friend's guitar. And I threw it on the bed, but my bed was, we didn't have really any money at the time, so my bed was right on the ground on the floor, right beside the radiator. So the, the guitar went onto the, to the bed, boom, boom, and bang, into the radiator. And I immediately had a shock because it wasn't my guitar and I felt bad. And um, so I picked the guitar up, turned it upside down, looked at it, it was a little kind of like a sort of a scratch and a few little marks. And then I, I, I picked it up and I was like... Fuck, it's not buzzing. Okay, good. It wasn't buzzing. It wasn't, um... And then this relief came over me. You know, one of these feelings where you're driving a car and something happens and you nearly crash, but then you don't, and you're like... <sighs> and there was that kind of a feeling. And uh, that does something to the body. And whatever it did to the body, it chopped me out of anything that I was in, and it chopped me out of that space of needing to be something for somebody else, needing to do something for somebody else. And my fingers were just there, and this song literally fell out. There I was for three days trying to write something, and I, I just, I was doing, I was just watching my fingers do whatever it was they wanted to do, and they just did this, and then, and then my mouth just went, tiredness.
And I remember as well, one time as well, I was in Iceland and I was on the way to some interviews and I was just pissed off. It was like, uh, I was like, ugh. And for whatever reason, I just wasn't in the mood of fucking uh, interviews. And uh, I left the hotel room and um, I was walking down the stairs of the hotel and then I slipped and fell. And it was like, boom, 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 like about seven, you know? And uh, uh, it was carpet over concrete, so it, 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 didn't, it didn't get like that really hurt, but it fucking hurt, if you know what I mean, that kind of like uh, safe kind of hurt. And I remember getting up and almost having the feeling of needing to vomit um, from the, the shock. But it, uh, it transformed me uh, instantly into this kind of like feeling of, uh, of um, wow, I almost fucked up there, but uh, I was saved. And uh, sometimes in relationships, it's the same. There are moments where uh, we're right on the edge of just totally fucking shit up. And uh, this song is about that. It's about just being right there, right there on the edge and not knowing if uh, maybe this is the best thing to do because maybe what we need is something to wedge in between us. Maybe, you know, maybe we need something to, 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 to kill us so that we can move on. And it's, uh, it's that line, it's the place again where, where uh, water meets land uh, the, is, is kind of where most of the life is. And uh, uh, life is really interesting in that space. And I'm not saying that uh, I'm voting for always living on the edge, but there's something interesting about um, the experience of, of um, really having to question who you are and what it is you want. So, um, anyway, shut up Damien, back to the song. Mm -hmm.
have small balance in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to be. <laughs> Seats. Does everybody want to come a little bit closer? Calmly, just all calmly, calmly. Don't come to kill your neighbor. <laughs> and uh, if if you're too far behind, then you can steal somebody else's seat. And that <laughs> me from all your abuse. <laughs> all I hear is me. And Francisca. No, I'm joking. I can hear little bits sometimes. I heard hi. Okay. Hello. 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 So if, if you're if you're if you're stuck in a column and you wanna just you can steal somebody else's seat. It's fine. We're we're, we're at the end and I don't think anybody's done. So this is a this is a song that uh, I wrote kind of like as a Realizing that um, in growing up in Ireland, it was it was it was a pretty pretty obvious thing um, that uh, and it changed very fast and it's still changing, of course. But uh, um, when I was younger, it was this it was a it was still, especially when Ireland was poorer, it was it was still very much a place where the man was the boss of the house and uh, um, and it was very much a, a male dominated um, society a church dominated society and everybody in the church was pretty much male as well the leaders were in the man. so um, this song is a kind of like a song about looking back as a as a man you know um, Whatever you call whatever that is, but like you know, we call it a man, penis, and everything. Um, uh, so looking back as a man, and and, uh, and realizing, and just just observing, just you know how men have been treating women, you know, over the years, yeah, and just starting in, in, in people that I saw in Ireland, and then I looked at it further, and, and I looked at it further, and. Uh, and uh, it just felt like a, um, um, something that I, I, I wanted to sing about. And then I looked into my life and I was, as usual, um, able to find ways in which uh, I had uh, been uh, really pretty unkind without maybe sometimes even that I sometimes even realize it. So it's a, it's a, it's a song you can imagine for all the women out there. You can imagine all the men uh, in the world, <laughs> sort of just standing and kind of, I'm just going, you know. Sorry, uh, sorry. We want it to be trusty and true, but the feather fell from our wing. We want.
so full of lay down your feet cause we can't take back Lusty or blue, no tether to prove strings. We never want it to be jealously tuned. We can't take back what is done, what is past. So, fellas, lay down your spears. Cause we can't take back. So let us
in tomorrow's sight. Hope that my sanity covers the cause to remove the stain of my love. Paper of my shit.
Till I find some 